Completely grateful to be able to pray and meditate here on the spring equinox at mankind's first temple, astronomical observatory, megalithic structure, energy vortex, whatever it is, you know it's special and sacred once you're here. Now, let me just bask in its glory. Now that I've taken it all in, let the freak out commence. 7,000 years older than Stonehenge, 8,000 years older than the pyramids, Gobekli Tepe is dated to around 12,000 years of age. That's the oldest structure ever uncovered. And if this is the first time you're hearing about this, my judgy lower self would say, where you been? Göbekli Tepe, which translates to pot-bellied hill in Turkish, I know, real romantic, is located in southeastern Turkey city of Şanlı Urfa, which is in a region you might know as Mesopotamia, aka the Fertile Crescent. But it's also within what's called the Golden Triangle, where the most significant sites in this region are found. I'm here with Mahmut Yildiz, who's the landowner here, and he's a very sweet man, telling us all about the history here. So the Bualane, the Anjad, that Belinidi, and if this Burai Surkan, Duar Larch Harde, Insular Gelburda Kurban Kessler, the Buddha Dilek Dilerde, this is the Burai Bir Horava Kui Tahmine. فقط تارلا ایشتا سرور کن تاشلر یوزه چخیده و تاشلر کنار آتاردخ گنه دوام میداردخ و او سراده ایکی تنه رسم ده تاش بلدخ بینده و سیزان آرتدان The late Klaus Schmidt was the first person to understand how important this site really was He led excavations here up until 2014 when he passed So danke for your Deutsch archaeological eye We appreciate your dedication So far, the area excavated can fit 10 football fields. And for all my gringos out there, that's soccer fields. What's wild is that the ground penetrating radar shows that only 10% of this area has been excavated, making this site 50 times larger than Stonehenge. Apparently, Göbekli Tepe was built by groups of nomadic hunter-gatherers from the Neolithic period who didn't have knowledge of the wheel or basic pottery, but were somehow able to cut these massive stones, some weighing up to 16 tons, and align them perfectly to true north. By the way, this is the first and only megalithic site ever aligned to true north. Even the Pyramid of Giza was off by a fraction of a degree. So this is pillar 43 in enclosure D, which is the most intricate of the pillars. And there's actually a wild theory by a scientist named Martin Sweatman, who says this is the Rosetta Stone of this entire site. His theory is that this is a picture of an event that happened 11,000 years ago when a comet came and smashed into the earth, leading to mass extinctions. He's saying at the top, the three top arches, they resemble actually the vernal and spring equinoxes as well as the solstice. And in the center, the bird holding up the sun, that's supposed to be Sagittarius during the summer solstice, which is when this event occurred. Crazy, right?
According to some researchers like Graham Hancock, they say that this was actually a transfer of technology where ancient advanced civilizations were sharing their knowledge with local hunter-gatherers here to build these incredible sites. As you can see, they had incredible astronomical savvy. And if you have astronomical savvy, you know about the zodiac, of course. As you can see, this actually represents the animal circle, the zodiac. They have the two central pillars and it's surrounded by 12 other pillars, like the 12 signs of the zodiac. It's the first day of spring and I'll never miss out on connecting to an ancient source of spiritual energy. Juniperus excelsa. In Turkish, it's the Dilek Ağacı, which means the wish tree. There's a culture in this part of the world where they tie a ribbon or a thread and make a wish. And out of respect for the late great Plato, who said that all learning is remembering, my wish is that we all learn from our ancestors. Yeah. 